Hello everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a video showcasing this drawing right here. Now I'm going to go talk about the drawing that I made. I'm going to talk about the drawing that I made. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about all the, everything on the blueprint that I drew by hand. Using only, using only a ruler, as you can see right here. A pencil with the with it sharpened already, and the eraser on the end, and a blank piece of cardstock paper. That is all you need to make this. This is obviously the Titanic. Now, now that you can see the name part right here. Titanic. I'm gonna talk about the bulkheads. I'm gonna talk about. There's two halves to this. The paper is too small, and it'll draw both halves. So I'm gonna show you both sides in the same video. Now let's get to it. Here's this info right here. I'm the creator. I started it in 12 10 2021, on the 10th of December 2021 on Friday. Since I've had a break from school, so it's been a break. It's been a nice break, but. I don't know what these things are. That's the first funnel. And that's the second funnel. This is the Grand Staircase structure right here. Here's the Grand Staircase dome. These lines that you can see randomly are mast ropes. And here's the first half of the structure for a compass tower. Here, this level right here, with these windows, the small ones are rectangles. Those, that's the ADAC promenade. Well, one below here with square windows is the B deck. And the circle windows is C deck. And so on. This is the mast right here. This is the crow's nest right in front of that. Here's one of the bow anchor things, I don't know. But that's called, but there's a crane. It's not there yet, but. This is the four peak tank right here. I should probably position my finger differently. Four peak tank right here. Cargo hold one, cargo hold two, cargo hold three, boiler room six, boiler room five, boiler room four, boiler room three, the first half of boiler room two. And these things right here. These things are the coal bunkers. The damage actually breached the first floor compartment's pretty bad. And then it breached boiler room 6, and then it breached the coal bunker of boiler room 5. It actually damaged the keel of boiler room number 4. Number four. If you're wondering what the keel is, this little area, the, the line on the bottom, goes from here to here on this half of the drawing. Same piece of paper. And that's the double bottom, or what's known as the keel. That had scratches on it, small cracks beneath boiler room number four. That did not. That's the reason why it started flooding around 2 a.m. and the bow was completely underwater, on the on the one side, on the port side, while well, the starboard side of the bow is still above the water, in some places. Let's talk about the back half now, everybody. Now the, this. Let's start off with this. This is the rear mast. Here's the second class staircase. Here's the fourth funnel, which is the dummy funnel. Here's the after staircase. Here's the this is like a first class dining area. But the after end staircase is first class as well. It only goes down to C deck. Here's the third funnel, which has stuff coming out of it. Here's the second half of the compass tower with the compass tower on top. Here's some windows. Similar to the A deck ones, but Here's the rest of the EDEC promenade. And this is all open right here. This is all open. That's all open. See all that? That is all open. Here's the BDEC windows again. Here's the BDEC windows. Here's the CDEC windows. And here this is the rear helm. Here's the flag. Here's a crane. Here's a crane. There's a crane. Right in front of that structure holding the mast, right there. And as you can see, these ropes, these ropes actually are 
He had gunned the mast ropes. These ropes by the funnels are not mast ropes. These are the ropes supporting the funnels. And here's the... Here's the uh, second half of Boiler Room 2. Boiler Room 1. There are two precipitating engines in the engine room. The turbine engine. The electrical generator. These lines up here, here, and here are the propellers. Propeller shafts and the propeller lines. This one is the port propeller. That's on the middle. And this is the one that's star on the starboard propeller. The propeller you can actually see. It's a 3D propeller and it's really nice. This took me like three days to make. I was not working non-stop. I just took multiple breaks. Oh, and if you're wondering what this one is, this line is going through the deck here. This is a, uh, what's that called? Um, this is called a, uh, um, I'm trying to think of it, everybody. Uh, a, uh. I can't remember exactly what it's called for some reason right now, but I just did a minute ago. But this is something that will allow the ship to sort of flex. If it was all stiff, then if it was all stiff, when one part hangs out of the water, it could break in two. And these are actually called uh, expansion joints. That's what they are. They're called expansion joints. And they're joints in a human body. They bend. They can bend like so my fingers are bending. Yeah, it can bend. It's an expansion joint. Sorry about that. But uh, it's an expansion joint. There's one in the front, too. If you go back and rewind the video, I'll show you the front again in a minute. This is an expansion joint. And it allows the ship to flex. So, so if, let's say, the stern starts hanging out of the water, it would be able to expand. But if it too much still hangs out of the back, too much of the back still hangs out of the water, it could sink. It could break in half and sink. If it broke in half too severely, which it did, it was sinking. It landed Monday, 13th of December, 2021. 12, 13, 2021, Titanic. Here's a good, here's a good far away version of it. As you can see, everybody, here you go. Here's the front half of the ship, and here's the expansion joint just behind the first funnel. As you can see, you would like to go down to the D deck level. This allows the ship to flex, like I said. It allows the hull to flex. So it can't just break whenever too much of it hangs out of the water. Britannic actually had four, two in the same places. One in the middle of the ship, and one behind the fourth funnel, and one in, when it was in the middle of the ship. These two are still originally the same, but there was one in the, these two are still the same. There was one in the stern right here. There was one in the middle right here, and there was also one in the front. So there was five of them. There was one on the, this area. This area. This area, this area, and this area for Britannic. That's a totally different ship. The video is going to be a bit long. But this is the Britannic video, I mean the Titanic video. And there were 1,500 people who died that night. Go check out my other videos for that. And 700 survivors. And the people who died, they didn't just randomly die, they actually... That died when they went to the water and froze to death. They died when the when the um, ship when the ship broke in half. People died because lots of it collapsed. People died in boiler rooms. From the people died deep in the ship's hull. The water went down. It imploded. People drowned. People burned to death in the boiler rooms. Likely, if they had a if they had a fire going on for some reason after the breakup. Some people got electrocuted, maybe. I don't know. When the electricals failing, it's possible. When it's possible they could have been in a flooding hallway, and the electricals would fail, the electrical equipment would fail, cause all the water to become electrified, and that would shock people in there. 
You know, the people who went into cardiac arrest due to the cold, which is basically a heart failure. Yeah, there were so many people who died that day. But anyways, have a good day, everybody. And like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for all notifications. It's free, and you can change your mind later. And don't forget to comment and share this video with others. Alright, we're wrapping up the video, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.